So they did give me a stop work order and are requiring an immediate evaluation by a professional engineer. Fortunately, contrary to fuel rumors here, it is constructed entirely below the slab of my house and it shouldn't be too hard to get the permits and approval. Ah, uh, Tunnel Girl, so I thought we would revisit her today since I read this really interesting article that had actually, you know, interviewed or had mention of what the neighbours were saying, which I did think was quite interesting since there seems to be such a split divide. There is such a divide between people who want to see her carry on with her building endeavours versus people who are really quite concerned about the impact that it will have on other people's homes, her own house, her own safety, other people's safety. Every day is a great day, but some are less great than others. Mine cart got tangled in an extension cord that was laying over top of the ramp and it overturned. Now, if you are in any way confused, which don't worry, I would be as well if I didn't know what, what the hell I was talking about. This is Carla and she has been building a underground kind of chamber. She wanted it to be an underground bunker slash shelter, which then moved into I'm going to make a mine which then led into I'm now mining for rocks to then build a castle. Now, a lot of people were asking where this castle would be. I was under the impression that she literally wanted to build an almost fortress around the outside of her suburban home. Now, I could be completely wrong. Maybe she is wanting to build a castle somewhere else, but that was my impression. But I'm not going to lie. She hasn't been very forthcoming with her neighbours. She hasn't applied for planning she hasn't got a permit for any of this so it's all very skeptical and it's all very well people saying you know carla carry on going carla you know dig that hole just keep on digging it don't matter the thing is is that you're not going to be directly impacted by that it's very easy to say this kind of stuff when you're looking at it through a screen but if you're actually one of her immediate neighbors and trust me she has a few you're going to be quite concerned that she's not acquired a permit for any of this now, according to some things that I've read, basically it goes like 20 feet below the surface is where she's kind of been digging about. She has had fires started. She's like let gas levels rise too high, which means that she could have, you know, had like gas poisoning and whatnot. She has had various different uh, malfunctions down in her suburban mine, but she has kind of taught herself how to do most of these skills which a lot of people say is very impressive i for one think it's very impressive dangerous yes impressive yes however i am definitely on the side of i feel like she should definitely have got approval of this before starting this when we were reading this newspaper article, she basically turned around and she said that all of her neighbours knew, her neighbours are perfectly fine with it, and but she was extremely cagey about whether or not she actually had like planning permission because we now know that she didn't. But it also came to fruition that her neighbours actually had zero idea because a independent journalist, like a reporter, basically saw her videos got in contact with the neighbors that were surrounding her and the neighbors had absolutely no idea so that she she has contradicted herself doesn't matter if you think she's amazingly talented or not she hasn't been truthful and you know if her neighbors hadn't found out would it have gone as far as this person right here who i've just discovered which i think is I, I think the story is absolutely bonkers. It's this guy called the Mole Man of Hackney, Hackney being in London, um, who basically for like 40 years spent his whole time, um, he was a civil engineer, a retired one I think, and he basically spent 40 years of his life um, starting out building a wine cellar, which then ended up into like intertwining tunnel, like a tunnel network underneath his house that also kind of went onto other people's homes. It was then causing like pavements to rupture, power to completely cut out, and things were starting to collapse. And in the end, you know, he basically just wanted to dig. He just started digging. One day he was like, I'm going to build a wine cellar. And then he didn't stop digging. And apparently this is a this is a genuine thing. Like if you go on Wikipedia and things and you look up people who like tunneling, this is a genuine thing of people who start digging and then can't stop. Anyway, long story short, there's actually a little plaque. It was called William Lissell. 
he had to be um he had to he had to leave the premises um and sadly he died i think it was in 2010 or 2009 he had to move out um i don't think he even paid for any of the damages or anything i think he literally refused to but um the house has now been picked up by this designer this art this artist called sue webster i think and yeah these are the pictures now um and she's tried to keep uh, William Little's vision um, and as you as you can see look at that look at the look at where the house is and look at where the little garden bit is at the bottom like this man Doug he loved to dig I'm just saying that if you leave these kind of people to it they will just keep on digging and apparently it is it's a real thing people just love to dig and it's something that I have just come across in the past month or so understanding why people just love to dig so there's this article ffx now saying woman ordered to stop building secret tunnel under her house by town of herndon 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 sorry pronunciation though carla's video showcased an extensive operation involving makeshift mine carts and a slide that dumps rubble into an outdoor dumpster herndon wasn't alerted to the construction work and its potential building code violations until early december according to the town the town was notified by a resident who submitted a complaint on December 5th reporting that their neighbour has been engaged in non-stop construction for about three years. So this is quite interesting. Three years she has been constructing and yeah, the complaint was made December 5th. So when, when did she post that video? When did she make that video where she said that she has to stop? I have to go and have a little look. According to the service request, the resident always saw huge piles of dirt leaving her property to the point that she pays for a dump truck to get the dirt out. But they didn't realise what was going on until Carla's TikTok account, Engineer Everything, appeared on their friend's page and they recognised her as their neighbour. She's building a tunnel. Is this okay for her to do? She has a YouTube channel showing how she's been doing the tunnel since the beginning of her move, the complaint said. Can someone please look at her TikTok and see if she has the permits and permission from the town of Herndon? Well, the thing is, is that, yeah, she didn't have permits and permission, but she was also going around and telling everyone that, yeah, she was on good terms with the neighbours and that they knew about it. Either way, okay, so what we have gathered now is the yeah the, the neighbors have spoken up because originally we hadn't really heard too much from them it was just from that um from the separate reporter that basically came on and was saying that she had been in conversations with them and i would just be really in like if she if no one had ever found out and she hadn't have ever alerted the authorities just how long would she have been tunneling for would she have done a complete mole man the mole man of hackney would she have just been going for like 40 years until pavement started like collapsing and people's homes started breaking? Do you know what I mean? Like, how far would it have gone? But you may be thinking like, does it, do people support this? Do people? Yes. 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 She has an overwhelmingly large support base who really want to see her, her tunnels expand. Okay. So I'll read you out some comments because... I think I think the amount of support that this woman has gotten um is really I would say quite shocking. Yes, the skills, her skills are great, but realistically she is she is putting neighbors at risk and I like I've already said I feel like people are really hyping Carla up because they're not the, they're, they're never going to be impacted by this. Carla, we miss you. Hope to see more of you soon. Don't listen to the ugly people the ugly people. I think you've been very thorough. Better than a lot of new home builders. Miss ma'am, what are your qualifications? I don't think it's fair to call people ugly when they just don't agree with jeopardizing other people's properties or for the sake of entertainment. Because at the end of the day, Carla's content is pretty entertaining from a shock factor, at least, at least to me. Like, it, it's like you can't look away from it, whether or not you enjoy watching her learn new skills or you're literally just watching it for like the shock factor of wow sh th this girl loves tunneling um I, I still i don't think it's very fair to call those people ugly miss ma'am carla you have such class you freely cooperate with city inspectors you maintain a positive attitude 
and you dress so classically with pearls. You are an amazing role model. Are you trying to like, what are you trying to do? What does, what does her dress, what does what she's wearing have anything to do with the digging, John? John? <laughs> Um, no, she only has freely cooperated with the city inspectors because she has to. She literally has to. She has to. Otherwise, that that that's like a whole separate issue. If she says, uh, "No, I'm not going to cooperate with with you." No, she did, never wanted to. Also, she is liking all of these comments. The haters just make you stronger. I do love the fact that she's literally liking all of the all of these because it says liked by creators. I mean, you have got to hype yourself up, but like. The haters uh, over a mining project that's gone wrong. How dare people think of others in a time like this? And then she actually responded to a comment. Someone said, any updates, Carla? How hard are they hitting you with fines? And how much do you have to redo? Carla said, no fines yet. Some work may need to be redone. I don't doubt there's no work needs to be redone. She said, no fines yet. We're going to see. We're going to see what about that. Because a lot of people in that comment section are pointing out the fact that this could take weeks months probably months worth of people looking into it and all of that i have never decided to dig holes or dig tunnels in my free time like i say i'm not very practical i don't like mud very much uh <laughs> I, I i just i'm just not about it so you will not find me in the basement trying to dig you know tunnels that, that's not really my vibe but, you know, this will probably be, this will be sorted out, I'm sure. A lot of people have very conflicting opinions. But yeah, her army is strong. Her army is really strong. I've even had people on my last video coming and saying that I was a horrible person for having an opinion on Tunnel Girl. And it's like, I can have an opinion. Like, this is so silly. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this matter. Just like some little updates. Carla has now responded saying that there's no fines, but some work may need to be redone. And of course, we then have it kind of from their neighbours who are saying, you know, she's been out here for however long, just having having dump trucks just come in and take away all the rubble. Like, wouldn't you just think to yourself, like, that is a lot of like rubble and rocks and mud that is leaving that property but anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i will catch up with you guys in the next video